Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about one simple mental shift that will make you wealthy. But before we talk about wealthy, let's just explain it a little bit. We're talking about health wealth, time wealth, financial wealth, relationship wealth. It's all encompassing when it comes to wealth. But the problem is, growing up in the middle class, we're conditioned not to be wealthy. Why? Because that's what the American government wants, a high volume, tax paying middle class. What does that mean? The government wants lots of middle classers to pay tax, a high volume model. The solution is working my way through the middle class. I'm here to teach you how you too, with some simple shifts when it comes to how you look at things, vision, financial, independence, money mindset, you too, can become wealthy in all aspects in the encompassing realm of wealth. So let's get started. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Chris Warrens and I'm the founder of Warrior Consulting. I work with entrepreneurs internationally starting, building, and scaling their companies past the multi-million dollar mark. And I want to run back my free offer from last month with giving you guys a free goal planning video that's not here on YouTube just for you so you can analyze it and learn how to set up your goals like an experienced entrepreneur of almost 15 years and how that can lay the blueprint for you moving into 2023. If you are interested in this free offer, just drop the word goals below in the comments and we will get it out to you. So that's all you got to do. Drop goals below. Now let's get started. Number one, here's one shift that is completely forgotten about, underrated, and the reason why is because it's not profitable to teach what I'm about to teach you, right? What I'm about to teach you of believing in yourself, you guys have all heard it before. You got to believe in yourself, right? The reason why this is so underrated is because gurus and coaches don't teach this because it's not profitable to teach this because there's no way to measure believing in yourself. There's no like algorithm to create money off this. But the truth is, and truth be told is, all of the greats believed in themselves well before they became great and they became wealthy. Muhammad Ali, uh, Wayne Gretzky, Tiger Woods, LeBron James, Michael Jordan. And these are just a small snippet of the greats, right? But the fact is they've all talked about that they believed that they were the best well before they were the best. So in this case, if you believe in yourself and you believe that you're wealthy from small acts of just changing your thought process, you too will become wealthy. You deserve it. It's your God-given right to be wealthy. And as anybody who's read the Bible or is spiritual will tell you, you got to believe before it actually manifests and comes into your life. So the first thing you got to do is you got to believe in yourself and you got to believe that you can or are wealthy. Number two, the world is not out to get you. The world's not out to get you. I struggled with this myself personally. I, before I became wealthy in the different departments, right? I was a bit cynical and I thought the world was out to get me. I thought that people didn't support me and that people hated me and that, and at one point in my life, people were trying to kill me and I never let go of that. I thought that the world was out to get me and I'm here to tell you that if you have that outlook, that if you think you're going to post on social media and people aren't going to like you, that you think that people are gonna hate on you, that you think that no one supports you, that your friends don't care about you, that your family doesn't care about you, that you think the world is out to get you, that is the number one biggest thing that I find with people that are arguably broke. They think that people are out to get them, but in reality, anyone who has made it even to the entry level of wealth, right, we help each other. And wealthy people help wealthy people. like. Health wealth, right? Someone in really good shape typically is going to help someone who's not. Time wealth, someone who has time freedom typically is going to help someone who doesn't and so on and so forth. So stepping aside from the fact that you think the world is out to get you is a huge and powerful move that you can make to become wealthy. Number three, 
You are more powerful than you think. I promise you, as all of the greats have written about and taught, including Napoleon Hill and God and uh, the Bible and and Tony Robbins and Ed Milet, there's this redundant theme that we, you, me, we're all more powerful than we think we are. And the key to understanding is that you are more powerful than you allow yourself to believe. So just kind of circling back to the first thing we talked about, believing in yourself, right? If you believe in yourself, okay? If you believe in yourself, you will begin to understand that you are more powerful than you think you are. No matter how you have to convince yourself, you are more powerful than you think you are. You are the chosen one. You are the one. You are the one that can change your generational curse of your family. You are the one that can dictate the future of your life, your family's life, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. You are more powerful than you think. The first step is believing that you are, and eventually it will happen, and I guarantee you, you're a lot closer than you think. Okay, guys, number four to make you wealthy in all aspects of wealth. Here's a really simple shift for you. This is really simple. Lean into your fear. Okay, so we've used the examples earlier in this show of fearing people judging you on social media, right? So I'll use this as an example. As a business owner, I used to fear being ridiculed by my customers for my beliefs and thought processes on the political scheme in 2020. And I didn't voice my opinion about really what was going on and fundamentally it was a really difficult time in America, let alone for businesses. Since 2020, I've been very vocal about how I feel, what I see, what I think, and I've leaned into the fear of being judged by people and customers and clients. And leaning into the fear has created money wealth, more of it, time wealth, more of it, health wealth, more of it, relationship wealth, more of it, by leaning into my fear of judgment. And there's many different fears. There's fears of the unknown. There's fear of judgment. There's fear. Fear is an emotion. And if you learn to lean into your fear, it will make you wealthy in every department of your life. And I'm telling you, over the past three years, give or take, I have really used this one personally And it has skyrocketed everything in my life. Really, really simple. Lean into your fear and you too can create wealth. Number five, let me tell you about you. This is a concept that I learned from Ed Milet. And Ed Milet uh, tells this really moving story about when he was basically going bankrupt. And he asked God while praying to have... God tell Ed, tell him about him. He prayed to God and said, God, tell me about me. And God told him about him. Now, whether you believe in God or not, what I'm here to do is to deliver this to you. All right. If you do this, what I'm about to do for you, for anyone in your life, you will become wealthy in every aspect that there is. So let me tell you about you. You are more powerful than you think you are. You can do anything you set your mind to. You are a beautiful person. You can do whatever you dream of. You can create the impact that you want. You can create the influence that you want. You are fucking awesome. Now, how do you feel? When you tell someone about them, you create the feeling of caring and loving and fundamentally you build relationships. So if you start doing that and telling people about them, if you have kids, tell your kids. If you have friends, tell your friends. If you have a team, tell your team. And you start telling people who they are, let me tell you about you, you will create all of the wealth that you desire. 
It's just going to take a little bit of time, but that's the great part about the time. The time is the most important part because you have to learn to love the time that it takes and practice at getting better at everything we talked about today. So go out there and make sure you use this tip of let me tell you about you. All right, guys, listen, if you have any questions, comments, you want to know more, I'd love to talk to you. Drop a comment below. If not, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.